Melolite versus ConvertKit. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically a few things that you need to know about both of these email marketing softwares. So if you're thinking about picking one of these up, or maybe you're thinking of switching from one to the other, uh, this video should help you make an informed decision, uh, whether that is a good idea or not. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so jumping right into this, the first thing that I would say about both of these email marketing softwares is in terms of like the, the best product that you get, they are pretty similar. Like, yes, the user interface is different. How you build the email pages is slightly different. Yes, okay, 100%. Like, they have little bits and pieces that are different, but the main basis of what they are, which is a drag and drop email marketing software, they are both very, very similar. So what I would say, guys, is before we look into the features, before we look into like the nuances between these and the, the slight little tweaks that you get, the main difference is going to come down to the pricing because they are basically a very similar product. And when it comes down to this, the main thing that you look for is the pricing. So as I say, both of these, are they worth using in your business? Yes, like they are both absolutely brilliant. They work very, very well at automating your emails, sending them out on time, excellent delivery on both of these so it really does come down to the pricing let's actually start off with the free trial first of all so both of these uh, actually have free trials so we can actually see maximum 1000 subscribers for this free account what i would say right here is on both of these you can get two types of free trials so on convertkit okay so 14 day free trial right here so the way that the convertkit trials work is you can get this free account which goes up to 1000 subscribers Unlimited landing pages, unlimited forms, unlimited broadcasts, everything you need, right? And for some reason, it doesn't say how many emails that you can send a month. So that is pretty strange. And with that, without them saying like, there's a limit to how many emails that you can send on any of these, I'm just going to assume that you can send unlimited emails on all of these, but you can only go up to 1,000 subscribers on the free plan. So that is the first type of free plan where you can get up to 1,000 subscribers with a relatively limited account. So with this free trial, you can't get automated email sequences. You can't migrate from another tool and enter in your emails. So it is limited, but it's still a pretty nice free trial. And that is the first free trial. And then secondly, you can like try out one of these plans with no matter how many subscribers you have on your list. And you can try these out for 14 days for free. So as I said, two types of free trials right there depend on how experienced you are with email marketing and how many people you have on your list uh, for which one you go for. Now, MailerLite, we once again have this free trial that goes up to 1,000 subscribers maximum. You can't go over at all. 1,000 subscribers maximum for the free account. You can send only 12,000 emails per month, which works up to 400 emails per day. So once again, like this really isn't the best in terms of Look, if you have 900 subscribers on your list, if you're sending an email every single day, you're going to hit that monthly email ceiling pretty quickly. Uh, so that is what I would say about both of these, is both of these are not fantastic. You can send more emails on ConvertKit, but you don't get the email automation. Whereas with MailerLite, you get the email automation and everything you need. The only difference is you can only send 12,000 emails a month. So that is the first type of free trial on MailerLite. And then the second one is you just get basically the same type of free trial here where you can add as many people as you want to the list but you just get this for 30 days instead of 14. So in terms of the free trial MailerLite wins just because it's like double the time that you get on the free trial and also the free plan comes with email automation which is the main reason you would buy an email autoresponder. <laughs> like what is the point in having this when you can't even automate your emails? Moving on from there the main big thing the main big point is which is cheaper. So let's say we have an average sized email list of $500 and we want to pay for this monthly. Uh, sorry, $500? What am I saying? 5,000 subscribers and we want to pay for this monthly. We can see here, uh, and by the way guys, you just want to go with on ConvertKit, the creator account. You really don't need creator pro, like unless you need newsletter referral system, subscriber scoring and advanced reporting. Honestly, you really don't need this. Uh, what I would say is maybe at some point you can bump up to this. If you find like you run into a wall and you're like, wow, I really need to upgrade. Then you can upgrade, of course. But when you're starting off, just go with creator. Same with uh, MailerLite. 
unless you need Facebook integration, custom HTML editor, you basically get everything you need in this basic plan and only upgrade to advanced when you need to. So with that being said, like <laughs> it's a world of difference how cheap it is. $32 a month compared to $79. It's like over double the price for ConvertKit. And as I said, both of these are pretty similar email marketing softwares. Like you can, you can even get the advanced version of MailerLite for cheaper than ConvertKit. It's crazy. Now, the funny thing is, ConvertKit, this is around about average price for an email marketing software. Like this is not even particularly overpriced. It's just that MailerLite is such a fantastically priced email marketing software that you just can't compete with it. Usually, you find a cheap product and it's bad. No. It's not the case with MailerLite, and honestly, I don't know how they do it so cheap. By the way, just for some context, MailerLite is the current email marketing software I use in my business, and the, the main reason is because it's really good and it's super, super cheap. But if we actually take a look, let me go ahead and sign into my account. Yeah, okay, sweet. So you can see right here, uh, first of all, the user interface is really nice, and look how easy it is to go ahead and create an email. So here we go, we would just go through, and then they also have some fantastic templates. Now for me, Templates are really, really important. ConvertKit, of course, do have templates. Look, like right here, they have some really, really nice email templates. Uh, I would say that the templates are on the same level as MailerLite. Like, I wouldn't say MailerLite has better templates. I wouldn't say that ConvertKit has better templates. Both of these have really, really nice templates. So just as an example, I might click into a, a template here. For example, this one. And it is literally a drag-and-drop email marketing tool. Both of these are. So you want to add in... um an image drag and drop it in you want to delete this drag uh, delete it like super super simple to do and as i say like usually when you find a cheap tool uh, you get you get a cheap product right not the case with mellow light and that is why i really like it so guys that was a quick comparison of mellow light versus convert kit if you actually go ahead and sign up for either of these platforms all i ask is that if you got value from this video or if you learned something from this just sign up using the links down in the description and that way I get a kickback on the sale. It's kind of like a token of appreciation and it funds the channel in order for me to create more videos like this. But guys, thank you for watching and until next time, take it easy.